So good afternoon, everybody. Thanks, Silvana. Thanks, Jap. So I will speak about a new paradigm and the management of surgical complications, less in season and more thinking. So in uh, your uh, surgical life, everybody experiences with complications. Sometimes you have uh, a smaller co just a collection, sorry. Just collection after pancreatectomy. Sometimes this is a video. Uh, uh, I don't know to, ah, uh, okay. Yes, well, for the, no. Okay, sorry. Sometimes we have complete stenosis for the sleeve gastrectomy. Okay, there is nothing to pass through. Sometimes you have complete transaction of a CBD, you can see. Some other times you can have a complete dehiscence of, this is, a, this is a sleeve gastrectomy, there is a dehiscence of a step or line, and we go in the perigastric cavity, this is the peritoneal cavity, it's out. Okay, what we can do? Normally, and even we can have step or line on the CBD, accidental step or line on the CBD during the anectomy. These are the complications that can happen. Unfortunately. So, why, uh, by endoscopy? Usually, when, when we have a normal fissure, something about, about that, it's very easy to treat. This is an esophagectomy. You can see the anastomosis, everything is okay, but uh, really it's not okay. There is, a, there is a fissure there, you can see. I can inject some contrast, this is a bronchial fistula, and in this case, I put another scope, is a clip and it works well. But clip is not possible to use in all the situation. Sometimes we have this kind of a situation. This is a sleeve again. There is a, a day sense of a step or line. We go out. So you can imagine here the defect is more than two centimeter. The clip, the overscore clip, will doesn't work. What do you think? Seal or drain? We have drain the this cavity or you have to seal with, this, with the cover stent. In my experience, I abandoned the, the uh, self-expanding metal stent because we had a lot of problem. They start to drain, just drainage. You can see here, we put two pigtail stent with the nasophenic tube, and one month later, these are the results. I remove the pigtail, and these are the results. Look there, everything is closed because the pigtail works like a foreign body and favorizes granulation. And again, even with endoscopic internal drainage, we can treat more complex fistula. Look at that. This is a fistula. This is the surgical drain. This is a bronchial, after the sleeve, is a gastric bronchial fistula. Pigtail, one, two pigtail there. Then still fistula. We change the pigtail. Again, some extravasation of immune contrast and the pigtail. And this is the results at the end. Only by drainage, internal drainage. And you can see here, Endoscopically, what happens? There was a diff centimeter defect there. Everything is closed because there was a granulation thanks to the pigtail. So, this is about uh, liquor fistula. But what about uh, we can treat also by endoscopy extraction of foreign body? I did it, th this case in IRCAD with uh, Mr. Dalmagna. You can see sometimes after following following Nissen with fundoplicacia with the mesh. This mesh was migrated at the liver of a cardia. So the, Mr. Dalmani told me, let's go. I tried to, with the foreign body forceps, but it was impossible. Then I think about, I, I, I say, maybe we can cut with the APC. With the APC was not enough. So we push in the cavity gastric. With the snare, we resect the partially. So you have to think all the, all the stuff that you can use, utilize to to remove, the, this is the first part of a mesh. Again, with the foreign body forceps, I pull it without very hard, but anyway, there was a big surgeon with me, so I say, everything happens, I cover it. So this is, this is what, uh, and still, there was, a, there was a stitch, and they cut the stitch. So did you see, we can treat, we can remove, also, foreign bodies uh, implanted by surgery, by endoscopy. And also, 
you can see another case. This is a, this is a, a lap band partially migrated. So I'm a, I'm a, a, in a bilopancreatic endoscopist mostly. So I pass the gut wire around the lap, one end on the mouth, the other one. And then with the same system that is a reutilizable system, so it's very cheap, I cut it under the fluoroscopy. I cut the, 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 the lap band, you can see here. I lap the cut, cut band. And then with the polypectomy snare, without any difficulty, I remove all the stuff. This is endoscopy. Then again, but sometimes we have some situation that's very hard to manage. This is the patients with the completely stenosis following sleeve gastrectomy. What we can do? I was thinking that it was impossible to me to do something. The contrast didn't pass through. I say with the normal stuff I cannot do. So I think to EUS. By EUS, you can see the stomach. These are the muscular layer with the mucosus and mucosa of the stomach. This is my needle. Here, there is the stenosis. I puncture the stomach. You can see my needle there. It's, it's not easy, but one shot. Again, I pass through the stomach. Then I come back a little with the needle. I'm inside. Some contrast injection. I was in the stomach. This is a contrast injection. I insert gut wire. Look the gut wire in the stomach. And then uh, all this dilation, stenting, and uh, nasal filling tube. So just to show you that you have to think what uh, all, this, all the material that you have, all the device that you have to help the, the, the surgeon. And uh, sometimes we have the, stones, the, the stenosis that are very easy to treat like that. And uh, also, what about, uh, in this case, you can use a stent. You can use uh, uh, hydrostatic dilation. But, sorry, I prefer to perform incision of the ring, because I think that is more physiologic. Just to cut the ring with a needle knife, and usually these patients are doing well. And sometimes you need two, two sessions, two endoscopic sessions to have a, a persistent results. And another case about endoscopic radiological rendezvous, did you see about the iatrogenic lesion? Look there. This is the, the sun clip there. Some clip there. A rendezvous with the percutaneous transhepatic with the radiologist in the subhepatic space. We reestablish the continuity, one plastic stent. In that way, there is a neo CBD that grows on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the plastic stent. The stent are changed every three months. At three months, this is the picture. There is, a stonis, uh, there is a stenosis for sure. Two stent, and we increase all the time. At the end, four stent. And this is the results. So we establish the continuity. You can see at the clip are behind. So this is the we establish the continuity of a, of a biliary tract. And even follow hepatectomy for metastasis cancer. Nobody after the, in this situation, what you can do? By surgery, you can, you can do anything. So we have to think something to do. We go in the hepatic, in a, in a, in the hepatic space uh, where was the resection. Rendezvous, stent, and this is the results at the end. Before there, there was nothing. So you have to think all the time what I can do, what I can do, and uh, for sure you have to have uh, in the time in uh, in the mind that the patient, the safe of the patient is the first stuff for sure. And for that you have to all the time discuss with the surgeon, with the interventional radiologist. You have to work all together. Another case, I show you again. This is a step line on the CBD. By EUS, I, if I tried to do ERCP, I didn't find the papilla. By EUS, this is the CBD, this is the portal vein. I punctured, you can see here, the CBD was completely closed. There is nothing on the duodenum. And fistulotomy, I did the fistula in the duodenum and the CBD behind. Got the wire, and then stand. Okay, 
I grasp, I insert a gut, then by percutaneous, I insert a gut wire in the liver because with my gut wire, I went all the time in the cystic stump that was very low insertion, and then I deliver stent. And this is the results now in these patients. You can see this is an anastomosis, a bilio godin anastomosis. So, and even we can do something when we have complete colorectal stenosis. This is by iliostomy or pacification by iliostomy. This is in the rectum. Under vision, puncture and stenting. And this is the result at the end. And sometimes you can also do by yourself with the two scope. This is from iliostomy, this is from rectum, and under vision, you perform puncture and stenting to establish the continuity. And okay, this is something, this is end, even in abdominal collection, when they are deep, that the radiologist cannot drain percutaneously, you can do by EUS, this is just behind the duodenum, this is the gallbladder, is uh, follow pancreatectomy, you can drain easily. This is the opacification. Then you insert a gut wire, fistulotomy, dilation also between the duodenum and the collection, and you drain invasively. So, but you have to pay attention to, to what? First of all, to hair embolism, because with the scope, you, in, you in, inflate all the time hair, and for that, I use all the time as you do, but even you can have some embolism. So we have to be very, very careful. And the second problem, sorry, is delayed bleeding. And I don't know why, but I, in my experience, I have, it's not a, a lot, but I have delayed bleeding. And uh, there are some patients that needed emergency embolization. And uh, maybe I know why, because uh, I treat all the surgical, I treat mostly all surgical complications. Though, you know, after sleep, sometimes you have, a, because of inflammation, pseudo aneurysm of splenic artery. Follow pancreatectomy, you have pseudo aneurysm of mesenteric artery, hepatic artery. F maybe for that. The technical suture in a high level center is between 95 and 100%. This is the technical. It's easy to do. But the clinical suture between 70 and 19.8, this gap is because, first of all, all the patients are different. Sometimes the lesions are ischemic lesions, so it's very hard to treat by endoscopy. Sometimes the time span between the first surgery and endoscopy treatment is long. Overall morbidity, less than 2%, and mortality, less than 0.5%. This is the picture that uh, Mr. Dalmagna presented before. And again, in conclusion, interventional endoscopy is a bailout and the surgery sparring tool. Close cooperation with an endoscopy, surgeon, interventional radiologist is required for the desirable outcomes. Sorry. Multiple endoscopic sessions are needed, never is one shot, never. And anyway, surgery at a later day is the way possible if endoscopy treatment does not work. Thanks a lot. Any question? So now you know if you have a complication, you know who to call and where to send your patients for the ones who are in Europe. Gianfranco, I have a question for you. How, how much do you think it was important to have a uh, surgical knowledge and a surgical background the way you, you do your, your endoscopy today? I think that is fundamental because uh, I'm a surgeon or two. I, at, at the, I'm a surgeon at the ground, so it's very easy for me to treat complications because I know what, the, what kind of intervention was done. So I know what I can do to repair the defect. If you speak with somebody else that didn't know the surgery that was done, it's very hard to help you. I think that this is, for me, by my point of view, it helps a lot, helps 100%. Yeah. Excellent presentation. Uh, you're a true uh, magician with what you do. <laughs> In a patient with an occluded um, colon bowel duct, eclipsed colon bowel duct, how do, you, um, how do you make contacts? How do you uh, perforate go, the uh, colon Usually we, we go out, we perforate the CBD stamp yeah. and the aisle with, uh, with, uh, sometimes with the needle knife, with the stiffest guard wire, and we, we go in the whistle of space under the liver. Yeah. 
and under the liver, they will grasp with a snare that you got wire. But if there is external drainage, with get wire, we, do on the, we go on, this, on, on the external drainage, so we do rendezvous ex corpore, yeah. behind the patient, uh, okay. the outside the patients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you perforate the common bowel with the uh, wire? With, with, with the wire, wire. yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Oop. thank you. Thank you very much.